appreciate the testimony. Number one, I hear from my constituents, boy, they'd like to go back to work, but no child care out there. A lot of child care providers went under during the pandemic, and when they look at the cost of child care, <clears throat> deduct that, it just doesn't pay. The second thing is, um, you know, we heard this is good for business, but you take that $300 away, it hurts the local economy. These people spend that money in their hometown. You give a rich person a tax break, they may spend it in Florida, Mexico, south of France, but these people spend that 300 locally, and, and that helps the economy. Thank you. Yeah, well, the $300 would end in September. Uh, that we know, so that issue uh, is simply there. I, uh, how much is spent locally or not, uh, who knows, or how much is spent uh, for whatever. Uh, child care was an issue raised actually in the Administrative Rules Committee, and the response I had then is no different than today. The governor is sitting on $2.5 billion, $2.5 billion. He can use some of that money for child care and help these people out. And it begs the question for those with children, and it's a, a challenging situation to some extent, in September, what would you do? Because the end is coming. Whether this passes or not, the end is coming. So that's why the governor clearly has more than enough money to assist these families with childcare in some fashion. So I'm waiting to see what the governor does.